Welcome everyone, I'm Mrs. Curtis and today we're going to learn about winter squash. I don't know if you remember, but last time we were together we talked about tropical fruit, particularly pineapple, and I really hope you had a chance to try some pineapple since the last time we got together. Friends, I was hoping you could help me say my plate together. We'll go over the five different food groups. We've got fruits, vegetables, grains, protein, and dairy. And we know our fruits and vegetables are so good for us. Half our plate can be fruits and vegetables. They give us a lot of our vitamins, minerals, and fiber. Our grains, oh, very important, give us good energy. And half of them can be whole grain. That's really healthy for us. Our proteins, we can choose animal or plant protein. So our different meats like our chicken, our fish, our turkey, and our beans, nuts, and seeds all count for protein and help build our strong muscles. And for dairy, when we um, choose to eat or drink dairy, we'd want to choose low fat or fat free. So friends, some fun facts about squash is that uh, they are in the gourd family just like melons are and cucumbers are. Squash originated in North America over 5,000 years ago and it was known as one of the three sisters planted by the Native Americans um, along with corn and beans. And squash can either grow on vines, they spread out in the garden, or they grow on bushes. So squash are classified into two basic types, winter and summer, and their flavors and textures vary. Some are mellow and starchy, some are sweet and creamy. Squash can come in all different sizes and shapes and colors. All winter squash has a hard shell which helps them last a very long time throughout the winter. And inside, the seeds um, are usually scooped out before cooking. One of them uh, is a pumpkin, um, that's also a winter squash, and the seeds inside the pumpkin are edible. Do you remember we learned that word last video when we were talking about sugar snap peas? Edible means we can eat it. So the seeds inside of pumpkins are edible. We need to clean them and we can roast them and they're so good and nutritious and healthy for our bodies. So come early June, which is right around the corner, farmers plant seeds uh, in the ground. The ground has been nice and warm by the sunshine. And by August, we will have a bunch of squash plants growing and we should be able to get ready for harvest soon. So friends, when we are eating squash, it gives our body some incredible vitamins. So, so show me your shield. So vitamin C um, is in squash, and when we eat it, vitamin C helps protect us from those germs. And this time, I want you to show me your goggles. Put on those glasses, because another vitamin found inside squash is vitamin A. And vitamin A helps us with our eyesight. The last thing inside of squash when we eat it is fiber. So if we rub our bellies, it gives our belly some good fiber, helps with digestion, and, and that's really important. Squash is the fruit of the plant because it has seeds inside it. Anything grown in the garden that has seeds inside is the fruit of the plant. When we pick that fruit of the plant and bring it into the house, We've taken off our science hat, which was out in the garden, and we put on our chef's hat, our cooking hat. And anything that has seeds and was the fruit, if it's not uh, sweet like an apple and orange, it actually goes in another category called vegetable. That's how we determine fruits and vegetables. <music>
we were together, we went to the vegetable garden and we got it all ready for this season to plant. Today we're going to go back there and plant some tomatoes. So, go ahead and open that door, step inside, shut the door, sit down, buckle up, we're going to drive. Normally, uh, hopefully your garden is outside in your backyard and you can just walk out the back door. Some of us do have to travel a little distance to get to our farm. So. All right, we're here. Unbuckle, step out, shut the door. Got to get our farm clothes on. Overalls, buckle them in. Good. Boots, gloves, and hat. We're ready. Grab your shovel. First thing we're going to do is we're going to walk to that garden. And the farmer has left some, uh, some tomato plants, and he wants us to plant them. So we're going to dig five holes with our shovel and plant those tomatoes. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, shovel down, squat down. Tomato plants are right in front of us, so we're going to put them in the holes. One, two, three, four, and five. Take your hands and, and pat the dirt around the holes. Fill all those holes in with the dirt. There we go. Pat it down. Nice. Good job. All right. Grab that watering can. We're going to water. Make sure those plants get a good drink. The sun is shining. They're going to grow real well. Okay. The dog is back and he wants us to play, so we're going to chase him for a little bit. Run in place. I can't wait to see those tomatoes. They're going to look beautiful. I hope you have a chance to plant some tomatoes in your garden, too. All right, grab that frisbee for him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Chase him a little more. Raise that heart rate up. I hope you're outside playing in your backyard, too. All right, farmer's calling to us. We can wave goodbye. Bye. Raise the other hand. See you next time. Thank you friends for coming with me to the farm today. I hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.